Well, your your life changed, I think, when you when you got your first mono soundboard. Mm -hmm. Who gave it to you? My parents bought me my uh, first computer. I was like 13 years old, 1993, and uh, this was like a very very simple sound card. Why 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 did they buy it for you? I was very much into computers since the age of six. That was the time when I got my first Commodore 64. Pretty, pretty early age, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, as I think back on the uh, whole uh, life, it's kind of funny because I almost like grew up together with, uh, with computing or the whole informatical science because we could consider Commodore like a, a, a children in terms of today's computer, like a very old one. And um, it was a very exciting journey. It always belonged to my life that uh, I get a new computer. I always open them up and wire them or change their parts. My latest computer I built myself. I just bought the, all the parts differently in the fall. And that was my first PC ever when I built like no compromise. Everything is the best. <laughs> I really like to know what's under the box that so I'm using. So now it's for you, it's the end of an age then? Um, because you have, now you have the best. Yeah, maybe. Now you can build them, now you can build them yourself. It's, it's obvious you can develop on it. And it's a very fast, quickest changing territories in life, I think, computers. So as soon as you buy it, it's already dated. Then a new thing comes along in two months. So it's a constant one. Um, when did you actually will make your first uh, your first track on your soundboard? Mm, I don't re actually remember. It wasn't probably a whole song. It was more like just beats, you know, and very simple samples. Um, it was called the program was called Scream Tracker Two. It was like four channels, very simple way of uh, programming beats. But I really, really like that way of thinking. It's very different of nowadays computer programs. Mm. And then later on, I switched to Fast Tracker 2. For long years, I used that program. It was legendary uh, in that decade. Mm. And also, I was collecting money for like a year or more to get a better sound card that time. It was a big investment for me. But. Uh, so I can't answer you when I made my actual first song. Well, you well, you've released uh, a tr a tr three albums, a trilogy. Yes. Uh, the first the first album was called Shallow and Profound. Mm -hmm. It was released in 2000. Um, if you listen back to that album, what what do you hear? Um, I hear a young person. Uh, exploring uh, all kinds of territories of music uh, that is very new for him. For instance, like a lot of live instruments that I was only listening to from recordings, like vibraphone or accordion. And it was, for me, it was like one of the biggest magic around that time, that these instruments, to see them, touch them in live and record their sounds. So. So this was a very important point in my life. I was like 19 years old when I recorded it. I just finished high school. I moved to the capital from countryside. So it was like a big uh, rise in every term in my life. So with my years, uh, the mixing and the production could be much better. So I, 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 of course, these days I could do that much better than I did back then. But um, it also gives me like a really um, silent and balanced way of looking at life. So more mellow than probably the person I am now. Too bad or? No, not too bad. I mean, I don't have any opinion about it. This is just a, a fact. This is a fact. I was like that when I was 18 or 19 and everybody is just developing in their lives. 